uh, whatever, Phil. If he's, I'm, I'm assuming he didn't misclick. Hope he's fucking leveling now. Yo, 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 welcome to Russian Cash Fridays. Let's fucking do this. Got a few pots going on here, boys. And let's can we take it down. Five dudes, we check call. Oh, sorry, check check, and then we leave the turn. Splash pot here, eight seven. He's jammed up. We flop two pairs. So I guess we're calling. And he's got, he's got the open ender. Right, twice is good. One for him. Yeah, one for me. I guess that's not the end of the world. And then over here, we three bet, three bet got raised. We called the raise. Which I think is fine, especially with the backdoor diamond and the backdoor not straight. He heroes with aces here when I have the straight. And he bets the turn here. I can't really call, I don't think. Which is annoying. I'll obviously, call ace of diamonds and made jam. And here I can mix everything. So I'm debating what I want to do. I think I'm feeling frisky, so I'll forward it. So yeah, a few spots there. Table two with three bet, three bet, king, queen. We're going to be double barreling. But, so if, I don't necessarily mean that diamonds are always gonna be my aggressive suit. It's gonna be my, um, it's gonna be my 25% suit. So sometimes they might say 75% call. Uh, this is, I think this is just a jam now. He can have ace queen, but he also has like all these underpairs, right? Is my hand a check call? He's not gonna jam worse. Like what bluffs does he, he can't really jam a bluff. I think this is a side jam, but I think it, it is a jam, especially when we three bet and then got there on the turn. Don't have ace queen. I don't think it's that thin. Um, so for example, sometimes it might say 25% call and 75% fold, but it doesn't necessarily mean that my 25% is my aggressive action, it just means it's my 25% action. And, and today I was thinking it was gonna be diamonds, that's the secret. Um, so sometimes it's going to be the aggressive suit, sometimes it's going to be the unaggressive suit. So it's not even going to like, it, even if you knew that, it, it wouldn't actually give anything too much away. But then when I just fly with seven five of diamonds then I was like, oh fuck, that was supposed to be my suit. Uh, I think we want to do some very aggressive action here. I don't know what he, the thing is, I don't know what he checks back and then calls with, I'm going to, I'm going to over though. Mm, no, I'm just going to go big, I think. So yeah, I should have three bet the seven five suited. Nice, I was thinking about jamming or going even bigger there, but I thought that might be suspiciously too big. Table four, we four bet, and then because we're deeper, we go for check call versus small, and it's pretty clear check call again, and then check the side of the river is gonna be very, very tough. Because he definitely has his eights, nines, and tens, and maybe 10, nine, 10, eight as well. Blocking queen jack is nice. It's just a question of like, is jacks a better call than my aces here, which it, it probably is to be honest. Six sevens there, queen jacks there, ten eight to nine, tens, nines, eights. Bluffs wise, king jack we block, ace jack we block. Has to bluff like nine seven, eight seven. I think this is a fold. Just a little bit married to it. Oh, you wank stain of a. So it just goes fucking mental, which is annoying. The Ginge Poker video series is now live. Head over to gingepoker.com if you want to start your path to financial freedom. Hope to see you there. Aces were forbidding here, but we're very deep here. And yeah, that's not a bad flop. I'll start with a little seabed. Hopefully he's got tens and we're just stacking. I don't really want to give a free card. I probably want to size up a little bit. He's got plenty of hands that can call me here. Like Jack 10. I mean, Queen Jack, he just got me when I've got a set, I guess. But I want to set up some stacks for the river, I think. Or well, 75, but it's insane. That seems too big. Let's go 96. At least that sets me up on the river. And question is, jam or check? It's obviously, it's a forward part, like, so ranges are obviously way narrower. He's not obviously not going to call Jack 10 if I jam now, but he may bluff it sometimes. But then it's like, it's, it's two pairs we get the value from anyway because it just jams them when we check. 
the sets we get anyway. Uh, I think we get most things anyway when we check. That's my reasoning for checking right now if I do check. But I just want to give him some rope with like 8-7. It'd be annoying if he checks by ace-queen, but I think ace-queen probably here affords anyway. And good luck, us. Yeah, so we fucking nailed every fucking element of that hand. So can you guys just want to rewind this clip and just fucking get a pen and pad, write everything I said down. And come back to me when you understand it. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. Oh, balls deep again here. This is just going to be a call, I think. But obviously, super careful now. Oh, that's very fucking dangerous. Was this the same guy? No, it was a different guy, right? I mean, obviously, he has aces. But he also has... But when he doesn't have aces, we have the nuts now, I guess. Because he should never four bet. Ace eight, ace three, eights and threes. You know, never, you know, don't quote me on that, but uh, and I think because of that, we can just start raising now. Just because all these ace queens, ace fives, ace tens are just going to basically have to pay us for a few straights, whereas these queens and kings are basically done anyway. So I get to deny the 10% equity from fucking kings and queens, or whatever it is, and I just get to milk versus hands that are going to continue. If you three bets me, I'm going to be very, very afraid, but I've also potentially induced that versus a Chinese player, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, so if we had jacks, that would have been, uh, and we're all in on table one. A bit deeper. He's found the ace king. Is he going to find the ace? Twice is fine, sir. Uh, no more. Well, give him another ace. Not on the next board, on that river. No five. Fuck off. This is what happens, boys. I just, I just play like a fucking genius on one table. And then um, just lose a fucking 70-30 twice on that table. I like the losing videos make me feel better that the big pros have losing streaks as well. No one can win all the time. Yeah. First of all, thank you for saying that. Second of all, I can't win because if I post if I post the losing videos, you guys tell me how bad I am. Not, I'm being I'm generalizing like the YouTube audience. I'm not saying you guys specifically in chat. You guys are amazing, obviously. Um, if I if I post if I post losing videos, <laughs> I get roasted for um, for losing at poker. If I post winning videos, I get roasted because apparently I only post winning videos. Like so, the fact that you guys say that you enjoy the losing videos as much as the winning videos, I I, I just post every session. I don't know, like I don't know why some people think that I'm like oh, this guy's obviously. He's probably not folding, but like maybe he will. So I'm just gonna click call. Then he, I'll check out the flop as well. I've seen people fall for $80. Yeah, you might fall for $69. All right, we've got it in now. I've got the nuts, whatever you got. Oh, fuck, he's got equity. Twice. And it was slot flop coming. Oh my god, I just run so bad in these fucking spots today. Let's play like a genius and fucking lose. Yeah, so if I so if I end up at the World Series, say middle of June, so not like straight away, um, there's probably gonna be some games around Vegas, but I get to stay in America for three months, right? Um, so I'll probably stick around the series for let's say the month, and then it'll just be what's going. So if there is games in you know, Texas and I mean the LA is closer, so probably LA would be more ideal, but I'm sure Texas, I mean, it's all just a flight away, it's not the world, is it? And I think GG have got some ties with Andrew Nimi and Brad Owen. No, I don't think they're as tied to Doug, but I'm sure they do something with these guys. Um, so when I donk here and he raises, um, it's kind of scary, because I obviously wrote the 10 pretty hard. I have a good 10 though, so it's like not the end of the world, and I can improve the boats. Uh, you're obviously going to aces and ace 10. The question is call or three bet. I think in general, you want to play a little bit more cautiously. You know, Solver might say, do some three betting here. Um, now the question is, now sometimes what people do is they raise here to be able to check back the river, which is a really good strategy and you should all do that. Not all fish do that. 
a lot of regs do that i do that so against me a good strategy here once i raise you to block you betting uh, to mitigate the river damage is to start dunking the river but i don't think this guy's doing that so i'm going to check a lot of big words there and i don't think a jam just because he's not going to call worse like he's only going to call aces ace 10 and a 10 so i'm either going to chop or get burnt as, much, as strong as my hand is here it's definitely just a call yeah and there's the quads anyway at least we we also play the hand like a genius just saying um and this is a three bet call and get it on a good flop that's not a good flop but we can probably check call so his forward range when we're deeper should change, but he's, this guy's 40% VPIP, so I'm not going to read too much into that. Tough spell on the turn, probably we'll just let it go because we are deeper, and like the risk of being wrong is a lot higher. Like It's going to cost me way more money to fuck this hand up. Yep, and I'm quite happy to let win here. I mean, it's just unfortunate being out of position. Let's give you a rip. Got a walk with aces on the other table. Call queens and queens. Ace king. Oh no. Once and hit a king. I deserve it. Ping. No. I wish you'd let me sweat the second run out now. I'm not running very well in all ins this session. So probably just three X's. Jams, 150 bigs, queens, I'm not folding. I'm gonna bet third, not a quarter here. Sitting out next hand on all tables. And queens is gonna be the one I think I just stick it in with here. Nah, no, I'm not. I'm gonna block now, I think. I think blocking is good. Still gets value from all of his like eights through to tens. Still denies from all his like backdoor ace, queen of spades and stuff. Eight's just completed. I don't really have many bluffs here. I've got no other tables by the way. Uh, don't really have any other bluffs here. So, but I need to get caught by worse. I mean, the jack being there is good. Obviously, we lose to jacks, we lose to sixes, we lose to eights. He should jam kings, four bet aces. He could have aces to here, to be fair here. If I check, I'm just debating whether it's a check fold or a check call. And if I jam, is that good? Rainbow turns are tough because I don't have as many bluffs, so he's not shouldn't call me as wide. So I'm gonna check fold this river. If he checks back, I win. A 14, fuck, I might jam over 14, fuck. Is that in juice? Is that a misclick or an induce? If it's, if, it's in, if, if it's a misclick, then I'm fucked. I lose versus misclick. But a beat versus 14. Uh, whatever, Phil. If he's, I, I'm, I'm assuming he didn't misclick. Hopefully he's fucking level him now. Just tell him what I got. Uh, ja -ja. Well, once once he tanks, we win. It's a good hand to end on, boys. At least we know we've won now. Unless he's nip rolling me. <laughs> Fucking got him, boys. The fourteen dollars. No offense, whoever you are, Phil. That was not good. <laughs> but thanks for letting me know what you had. All the fucking best. Um, I was hoping he this Jack, which is why I kind of tried to Jack Jack to him as well. If you want to learn more about my fucking masterclass type, you know, I'm just kidding. Right, thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you guys next week.